Hey guys, this is Lisa Tedder with Tedder Bear Stamping and I am sorry that I have missed the last few weeks. I went off to Orlando for on stage and then I had my 30th anniversary with my husband at Disney and while I did really great during on stage, the day my husband got there I got sick. I'm assuming it's from my flight there and uh, so our 30th anniversary wasn't as good as I would have liked, but we still had fun. No kids, first time we've ever gone there with no kids. So uh, we had a lot of fun, but I would have liked it had I not been sick. So then I came home for about five days after that and sick as a dog, got started getting better, had to fly to California for a few days to go to a memorial and got sick again. I don't know what happened, but so I still have a little bit of a, uh, where I have to clear my throat a lot, so if I'm doing that today, I am so sorry, but at least you'll know why. Uh, I have the Fast Fuse to give away today. Um, that is to Carol, oh no, I'm sorry, Margaret Cairns. Sorry, I had to look that up. And so, Margaret, just give me a uh, message and I, with your email address, and I'll get back to you, and I will mail it right out to you. I am going to go ahead and offer one again. And um, for the next one that, uh, or not next, but the next group of people for the next, hopefully just one week before I uh, film again. But that way I can give out another Fast Fuse. Uh, I do have some stamp sets coming up in the future that I would like to uh, give out for those that uh, either share my video or to subscribe. So if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And um, the way to be put in the drawing is to share my video. And if you would like to earn or be put in the drawing and you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you be my uh, subscriber to my uh, YouTube channel. Alright, so I'm ready to start today. Uh, I'm going to do a card using a new set that I got for free yay, at on stage and um, I discovered something with it and I am super excited to share it with you. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what I came up with and you will be amazed what made this pattern. Um, I got this stamp set, Amazing Life, from uh, on stage for free. Everyone got it. So I'm hoping that those that did get it um, will uh, love to see this too. And if you would like to get this, uh, feel free to order from me. And that's from um, the teddybear.stampinapp.net. And this is the hostess code for this month. And if you order from me online, I will send you a gift. So um, let me show you first off what which stamp I used on this. It's this one right here. This is one stamp set. And if you can see that, you can kind of see this part. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Um, also, uh, let me show you another um, thing that I did with a different part on this stamp and that is I used uh, let's see if I can see it oh this right here and I just made a pattern using that and I really liked how that came out and then I thought let's try it going the opposite way and that's what that one looks like so also I wanted to show you because you know once I start something it's really hard to stop uh, I have the new stamp set that is called Butterfly Gala and I did this where I made a pattern and that is just stamping the butterfly in there which I cut apart because it comes in, a, in like where they are connected so that you can use the punch that goes with this so this is one stamp and I just cut it off because I figured that I'd like to be able to use it separately. And I figured I could just put these on a block together and it'd still work the same. 
So that is the stamp that I used to make this. And I just thought that was really pretty. So maybe you'll look at your stamps a little bit differently and see what else you can do or use to make um, a pattern of your own. So let's get started. I am starting off with a piece of very vanilla cardstock. And let me move my stuff here so I can tell you what the sizes are. Uh, the it is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And the reason why I made it a little bit off is that I wanted to be able to use gold. Um, oh, and that is not right. So I need to trim these because this is for by. Let me make sure. Why does this happen every time? So this is how it's supposed to look. And let me trim this really quick. And I did two of them because there's one on the inside too. So let me go trim that really quick. And I will be right back. I'm going to cut this. But this will be the only part that you will miss is me cutting this. I'm going to cut it out of the video just so you know. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I am going to go ahead and start this with the stamp set. Like I said, it is just this one that looks like, let's see if I can stick the paper underneath so you can see it better. Um, it's just the one that looks, it's got filigree on both sides. It's just one stamp. So I wanted to be able to make my pattern. I'm going to come in with my soft suede. And... I am going to start down here at the bottom and right to the side and what you to you want to do is kind of make it straight by having it like line up to the bottom here. So and then I'm going to bring it over one and then I'm going to bring in this piece of paper because I am going to just do half and I don't want to get it on my sheet. Okay, so then you're going to come around and turn it upside down. And, oh, no, you're not. Yes, this is where I get confused. I'm trying to, okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Let me bring this up just a tad so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so then you're going to line this up so that these two are together. And this is why it's kind of a crazy thing is that when you look at this, this is what looks like the pattern. And so it, your brain kind of looks at this as the pattern. And then, but really you are doing this pattern. And it just, it's, that's why my brain just want, gets confused. And hopefully, you know, you'll keep it straight when you're doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then now we're going to go and come in let me look again because this is where I get confused. All right, so it's going to go like this and these two will meet up. And I will continue this and fast forward it so you don't have to sit here and watch the whole pattern, but it is a lot of fun to do it this way. So stay tuned. Okay, so we have that. And then I came in with the three dots that come in the stamp set and the petal pink. And I just stuck those in between each one because pink and soft suede are so pretty. All right, isn't that pretty and easy and fun? This was a lot of fun when I did it the first time. Still is. So I came in with a piece of um, the 
petal pink and this is three quarters by four and it's supposed to be measured to the three and seven eighths because um, that's what I cut it to but this is going to be just a little bit bigger and I will just trim it with my scissors and I am using fast fuse because I really love fast fuse I hate that it went away but um, like I said you can get yours from me if you would like all right so I'm going to trim that real quick Let's if I can find my scissors there they are And then I'm coming in with the metallic edge 3 8 inch of the gold ribbon. And I am going to go ahead and put whoop, adhesive on the back so that I can just attach it because that makes it so much. And of course I stuck it on the wrong spot. Okay, let's just bring it up a little bit higher. Whoa. And doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh, I'm sorry, I just... I get so excited because this is so much fun. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and what you would normally, like you would come in with a piece, <clears throat> excuse me, four by five and a quarter, but I like to trim that up so that it has the inside out so I can use it again because that is so important to be able to keep that gold foil and I love that I can just save that spot because it's all hidden anyway. Whoa! Did not mean to throw that at you. Okay. All right, so let's put this on. And that just adds. It makes it look so beautiful. Oh, love it. All right, so I came in with the um, layering circle uh, or oval. And this is the second from the smallest. And the stitch shapes in this is also second from the smallest. And I am going to go ahead and do the happy birthday and the crown. And that is going to be in the um, soft suede. And I'm going to get it as close to the top as I can. Because I want that happy birthday to fit. So, so cute. So these two obviously will stack on top of each other. And I am going to put some uh, dimensionals on the back. And as usual, I'm using my pieces up. going on vacation and getting sick okay so this is going to go right here in the middle I'm coming in with a piece of the um, petal pink at five and a half by eight and a half and I'm going to go ahead and put this on here That is just so pretty. And I like it being like where I have the bigger layers um, between because it just really makes this set off a little bit more. At least I think so. All right. And then the piece of, how do you say, the piece de resistance? I don't know. That sounds so silly saying it. <laughs> I'm going to color my, di my diamond, my rhinestone with a dark soft suede. And this just makes it just go with the whole thing. And use my pokey tool to put that right there. And I myself would love to get this card. And then let me show you the inside real quick. I did Life's Too Short to Say No to Cake with that other piece that I did the same size. 
And then I did this, the cake in the set in gold. Let's see if you can see that. And gold embossing powder. So I hope you enjoyed this card. It is really easy and a lot of fun and I think it's stunning. So um, I will see you next time. Thank you.